TFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Monday. Three hours left to go in the trading day, and we got markets in positive territory. NASDAQ leading the way, up 127 points, trading at 75.35. You get the S&Ps up 27 points, or about a full percent, trading at 27.74. And the Dow, after being pretty dramatically in negative territory, mostly all to do with the Boeing news that they of course, in the negative territory, but the Dow nonetheless positive 82 points, trading at 25.532. We'll start this off this morning, and let's jump over to Boeing, because they are quite a mover in the Dow, and they have had some volatility. Boeing down about 7.1% today. That's $29. We'll call it $30 below where it was at Friday, but nonetheless, 365 was the low, so you're almost $30 above that range, and we almost made it to 400, as we made it at 1.39877. We'll see that shake out throughout the trading day, and to jump back, some of the news shaping that, of course, unfortunately, the tragedy over the weekend where you had an Ethiopian Airlines flight going down, the Boeing 737 MAX 8. And that's the second time that that vehicle has gone down in the last six months. But nonetheless, you have U.S. Airlines trying to calm nervous travelers after that fatal crash. You have China suspending their travel with the Boeing 737 MAX, Ethiopia, Indonesia as well. But the U.S. Airlines holding strong to to put back some of that context to get down. So there's Southwest. They have the biggest fleet of 737 MAX 8 aircrafts, 34 as of the end of last year. And they are out there saying they remain confident in the safety and airworthiness of our fleet of more than 750 Boeings. Well, guess what, Southwest? We're not really worried about the other 716. We're worried about the 34 737 MAX 8s. Not to chuckle, but pretty pretty ironic to see that type of a reaction. American Airlines talking about that waivers are not available, non-refundable fare, as do the majority of passengers, and um, so no refunds, none to the likes. And American just saying, if you have questions, give us a call. This is gonna play out, we'll see. Um, so nonetheless, jumping back to the futures, there's your Dow, hanging up here at these highs, 25,580. We'll jump through the indices. Quite a run for the S&P, 27,79. NASDAQ 100, quite a chart, 71,68. We got crude, 56,63. There's your gold contract at 12,91.75, and the euro at 112,32. Stay tuned, Steve Rhodes coming up right now at the Trader's Edge, Dave White at two, Tom O'Brien at three. Have a great Monday, everybody.